Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with Time for Tea. I know, it has been forever since I've taken some time for tea. Here's my tea right here today. This one actually comes from my Sips Buy Box, which is a subscription that I pay for, not sponsored. Hashtag you can if you want to. Um, this comes from my July teas. I know, I am super behind. This one, let's put the box over here, is... And Jolly's Cup Resilience Turmeric Elixir. Okay, one packet per eight ounces of water. Notice I don't have it in the in the cup yet because this is just a stir it up. It is a packet. It's a mix. I don't know if you can hear the shaky shake. Um, <clears throat> one packet per eight ounces of water, 185 degrees Fahrenheit, which is under boiling. Steep stir. It says this one is actually sweetened as well. Caffeine free, a smooth and delicious instant drink with organic Hawaiian grown turmeric, ginger, maple sugar, and black pepper. This Angeli's cup, formerly Biha Bahar, hope I'm saying that right, blend makes a great golden milk. Golden milk. Hmm? We shall see. We shall see. I've got my relax mug with the water already in it. I am going, okay, I'm going to use scissors because apparently it's, oh no, wait, there's a little perf there. Maybe I can open it. Maybe it's not Deborah proof packaging. Had a week vacation last week and still didn't manage to get any videos out. I tell you, that's what happens when you decide to run the roads the whole time. Let's see what this looks like going in. Oh, it looks like it's raining gold. Very cool, very cool. There's a lot of powder in that packet. A lot. Did I get it all? Did I get it all? Okay. Looks like it is uh, mixing up there a little bit. Needs a little help with the stir. Got some lumpy clumps and stuff. Come on, dissolve. I know the water is hot enough. I used my thermometer to check. Dissolve. Mmm. Definitely not a black tea, obviously. Um, I can smell the ginger in it. It's not an overpowering smell of ginger, but there's some ginger in there, and I do get a hint of that black pepper. It's like, ooh, there's some black pepper. There's some over there. It's not super strong. It is a really cool color, though. Now, I love putting turmeric in stuff, mostly for the color. Um, if I, I put turmeric in rice, like if I want to make it look more like a Spanish rice kind of thing, turmeric y'all it does the trick and it doesn't add all the flavor apparently turmeric is supposed to be super good for you you know whatever we'll pretend it's healthy even if it's not but hey something natural mm. okay I can't wait to take a sip of this you know I have to blow on it you know it's too hot and it'll melt my face off It's got a little sweetness to it, but not a terrible amount. But I did read somewhere on something about, ah, here we go. Suggested use for tea or latte. Ooh, mix one packet, four grams, with one tablespoon of water, then add a cup of water or milk of choice, stir and enjoy hot or cold. So you can add this to milk instead of, you know, making it a total hot drink like this. And I imagine adding it to it, of course, I didn't read that part first, adding it to a tablespoon first would help it dissolve and then you, you know, mix it in with the rest. I think I'm going to add my favorite standby, the generic vanilla sugar-free creamer. It does have a bit of sweetener in this and I don't think I need to add any extra sweetener to the tea. Let's see if we can do this in the camera shot because y'all know how I love watching the clouds fill up in that mug seriously somebody make a channel of that because that looks so cool <laughs> I know I'm weird y'all already know that I'm weird I'm weird I admit it I embrace it what are you kidding me yes 
as usual, the vanilla and that little bit of sweetness really it elevates. That sounds goofy. It elevates it. Uh, but it really does. It sort of mellows out the pepper and stuff in it, um, making this a more pleasant drink. I think this would be cool as a latte. Um, I have almond milk in there. Maybe I will do that one of these days with one of my other packets. Just have some almond milk mixed with this and a little bit of the creamer because, you know, vanilla. We don't keep regular milk in the house anymore because we don't drink a lot of it. But I want something for my cereal. Like I've, I had a bowl of cinnamon checks, this, or not cinnamon checks, although I do love those. I don't have any right now. Cinnamon cornflakes this morning. And I just take the bowl and I put a little bit of the almond milk on it. I get the unflavored, unsweetened almond milk. Because you can get almond milk that's like flavored like vanilla and stuff. But of course, if you need to use it to do some actual cooking with, you don't, so you don't want vanilla mac and cheese. Okay. Yeah, but you can use that, you know, when you're, when you're cooking. It just doesn't have any fat in it. So if you're depending on the milk fat uh, to do your cooking, substitute it with something else. Uh, use the almond milk for the milkiness but substitute in a little butter or a little extra fat because you will miss that milk fat. Anyway, just your cooking tip of the day when I'm not cooking, I'm just drinking tea. It's kind of tasty. That is a nice, pleasant, warm drink. I could see me drinking this, especially on a cold day. And I look out and the thermometer shows it's over 80 degrees Fahrenheit outside which is not bad. This is lunchtime. I'm recording this at lunch from work. Um, it's not terribly hot yet. Give it till three o'clock this afternoon. It's going to be miserable, y'all. Miserable. But fall is coming. Fall is coming. It is. I know it is. Eventually, it's got to come, right? But I'm looking forward to sitting around when it's nice and cold, drinking something like this, um, cozied up with something, wearing something warm, like a sweater. Mm -hmm. I've made a yarn purchase recently and I'm going to be making something special with it. I haven't received the yarn yet, but I treated myself. You know, people say treat yourself. I treated myself. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to sharing that with y'all because I'm actually, I actually bought a pattern too. Supposed to be easy. So hopefully this beginner brain can follow it. I have a hard time following patterns just because I get so scattered. I do so well. Video tutorial, show me how to do it. Let me do it with you. I'm great. Following a pattern, if I can't picture it in my head like a video, I'm sunk. But I think this one's going to be okay as um, long as I get the measurements right. And, you know, I may have to do one of those, what is that, a gauge swatch? Who knew, right? Mm. Have you ever tried anything with turmeric in it? Beware, it will stain. That is a very powerful yellow with turmeric. Um, I actually have a bag, a plastic bag of turmeric in my spice cabinet um, that I will use. But yeah, apparently it's popular in tea and some people put it in coffee and stuff too. Mm. Hey, whatever. Yum. <laughs> Thank you for taking some time for tea with me today. Um, it has been a wild few weeks, as y'all know, if you're paying attention to my, my vloggy videos on Saturdays. And I'm just trying to catch up with everything, get back into the groove of doing things that I like to do. Sometimes I get so scattered and I, it gets overwhelming. And I can't t do, do everything that I want to do, which makes it even more overwhelming. Does that make sense? So... You know, hang in there. We'll get back to normal or, you know, whatever my version of normal is. You know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by and taking some time to tea with me. I should show you the other side. When I'm holding this in my left hand, I can see the side that says relax, but you can't. Relax. Don't do it when you want to jump to it. <laughs> Hashtag 80s. <laughs> See y'all very, very soon. Take care.